Hi, old beaver! Away! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Critscast. We've got the E2F12 Highlander Nations Cup number eight. We're starting off in Group A. It's actually the second round of games tonight, and it's going to be Romania versus Czech Republic. I'm Dave. I've got J-Max behind the camera showing you the action. And we've got some new blood tonight. We've got Pijaka. Yeah, but anyway, here we go. It's the Highland Nations Cup number eight. This is Group A. It's round two. It's going to be Romania starting off in the blue and Czech Republic in the red. As we go to this first mid on Prout, and I'm immediately I'm seeing Romania go in the flank, whereas it's going to be Czech Republic playing more towards the point. There's a lot of aggression on the flank. A lot of players stacked up. That does leave the point open as it does start to cap in. That aggression coming in immediately from Stace. He's going to take out Demos and Blur with the help of Delt. That's the two big combo members down for Romania. They're going to have to back up. They're going to have to try and retain that Uber. Yusti goes quite low, but is able to clean up Jerkus. And it's going to be a recycle moment here for Romania. Yeah. Czech Republic taking the first mate quite convincingly, rolling out on the point, setting up an aggro hold actually. The sniper going for a peek. Uh, the... Yeah, it's just uh, <laughs> aggression on the point at the moment for Czech Republic. A bomb does come in from Mong, he's trying to get the force into Gedu, but I think there was a dispenser already up for him. Tomash is already starting to hit some heads on the flank. Mirke goes pretty low, and Romania not exactly sure where to play. They do have an Uber in hand, they could take a trade in, but at the moment there's just so much point pressure from Czech Republic. Yeah, the Romanians trying to hand the pressing from the flank, but no rotating back to the point. Team they can do something into Uber coming out. Uber's being about the same for both teams. Uh, doesn't seem like either team is getting that much in the trade. Yeah, not too much trade, but now suddenly we can see Stace could walk on point. He's got so many players in front of him, he can shoot at. SNH is uh, ready to clean up as well. There's a couple of players down here, Delt and Gedu actually. They didn't see exactly how Gedu went down, but now no heals for the Czech Republic side. Puts them in an awkward position, but Romania trying to just get the heal beam back on those players and look to push with that heal advantage that they have here. Yeah. Uh, the Romanian demo is done, but they will still try to contest the point. Let's see, red team trying to stop them from matching. Playing passive behind the point. I mean, their demo is going quite deep. And the, and the Romanian demo goes down again. It seems like their attempt to push would be over with that. And Soldier going to Medic, not getting him. Will survive for now. Demos took a little bit of damage. Well, sorry, he went down across the point. He didn't really have the support of his team. Wasn't followed up with the call. But now Mong is once more bombing in quite deep. They're starting to get some cap time, but already two minutes off the clock. Ubers are right here, though, Pajaka. Well, the red Uber coming out. Yeah, I guess maybe my game is a bit too late. Um, not, not much happening, like red team will just be retaking the point quite convincingly with a big advantage on the clock, it's kind of on blue team to do something. Kind of trying to go for a sack here, the demo man and soldier a bit miscoordinated, not really getting that many picks. It seems like red team will be able to hold on point for now. Uh, kind of the last push for Romania now, let's see if they can pull something off. Yeah, they've only got 30 seconds left to make it happen. Got a big respawn wave, going to move out through the right-hand side up their own cliff at the moment. Gedu has a, a slight Uber advantage over Chris, but they're going to have to push here Romania before Ubers are up for either side. Czech Republic have an option to go back or not. Gedu's are going to surf back behind the point, but you can see there's not too much health here on the Czech side. They're all taken quite weak, but Romania are going to have to get gap time very, very soon here. And they don't even walk on it. Don't even get on the cap there, Jaka. Yeah, quite a, quite a convincing first round from the side of the Czech Republic, actually. Not really allowing the Romanian flank to get away with a lot. No, not too much happening, but is another mid. It's going to be Stace immediately faster than Demos onto the point. Don't know if he's played this map. Probably neither. The Demos has played this map too much. It is a new map, and neither of these demos have played Highlander in the last season or so. 
but Demis is going to be trading damage across the point. Mong is headshot by Tomas. Yes, he's able to run in, but he sees so many buff combo members. Has to run onto the right inside. Does pick up Skyfox, but the engineer pick is not what the Sky would have wanted. There's an option maybe for Prime to go in for something, but it seems once more Romania are bleeding hard. They're going to have to back out. They only have a few players up. Going to try and keep their Uber alive, but really nothing doing on that mid fight. Yes. Not looking great, although well, this time they did try to go... Oh, and the Romanian Medic also goes down. Yeah, Thomas, big snipe drop onto Chris. Now Gedu has full advantage. Yeah, this time they, they tried going point, but it also did not pan out. Uh, trying to pressure a bit on the point, I guess. Maybe trying to force out the Red Uber now from the Romanian side. But... Yeah, they got a nice little stop onto Stace, but at the moment they can't really make too much happen with that space because Tomash is continuing to pop eighty pops. Demos, who was, uh, they're all hiding on Cliff, trying to hide away from that sniper man, but Demos couldn't hide. He gets taken out. Monk once more solo in for a block, but he gets headshot as he tries to leave. Tomas is just dominating the server right now. Yeah, blue team kind of rolling out on the Cliff side, and Tomas just going for the aggressive picks. Kind of preventing them from even starting the push before they even attempt to do anything. And the red team, I mean the the Czech Republic playing quite aggressive on the point, just locking them on the cliffs on the cliff side, not allowing Romania to get anywhere. And Tom Thomas with another pick, just denying their hopes and dreams. Yeah, six K up to play, get shaped for seven. They take out the teleporter. Romania can't go anywhere. There's nowhere to hide from this sniper that's hitting every headshot right now. He's going to try to get aggressive on the point. The heavy is committing super deep as well. Does force the Uber out. Actually, Stace goes in behind as the Uber is forced out. It's going to be traded out onto SNH. They can chase here potentially as well, but a little bit separated. Gedu takes some damage as well, so they decide better of it. They're just going to set back up on that point hold. Yeah, and uh, the Romanians attempting again from the cliff side. Uh, oh, but, but uh, actually, uh, the Czech Republic bleeding some players. Maybe this is the chance that Romanians needed to start pushing the point. Yeah, Looks surely, like the Czech Republic will be forced to back out. Surely now with so many picks, they can get them. Whether Gedu escapes or not will be the crucial thing. Still, as a scout, they still wanted to stay in. Brave stuff to stay in. Only four players up with your medic still alive. But uh, they do back out just a little bit, do give that uh, cap up for the Romanian side, but they're over two minutes behind there. I mean, it might be two minutes behind, but I guess they've kind of gotten something to work to push the point. Maybe they will be able to replace this more, but the Romanian sniper going down. Romanian starting to bleed players again, it doesn't look very promising for them, looks like. And the Romanian Uber also coming out but not the Red Uber. Yeah, they lost every player that wasn't in that Uber there in Romania. Not a good situation. Jerkus is looking to clean up Demos as well. Can't get the health back. There's no health back ready for him. There's no arrow ready for him. SNH and Jerkus back on the chase again. They get a little bauble down onto the Chris Medic, but Gedu is sat nice and safe. Uh, it's actually on their opponent's cliff. They're nice and far forward here with the Uber in tow, ready to go aggressive. Just 19 seconds left for Romania to try and desperately go on to the point. Their rotation here from the Czech side is back to the point, but still have an Uber ready to go. Just is going to run him, do force the Uber out, but Telt uh, is able to just blast Demos away. Just going to air blast people away from the point and a very, very easy second round win here for Czech Republic. Yeah, Romania not even being able to touch the point at the end, kind of going for a bit of an unorthodox push from the cliff side. I have to say, I haven't seen this that many times before. Uh, maybe they should switch it up a bit. Yeah, I definitely think it's... You get an advantage if you push from the flank that you can apply pressure from uh, main, from across the point, and from in from the flank at the same time. If you're going cliff, you're kind of just funneled into one area that you can push from and they're really paying for it at the moment Romania but next mid anyway Monk again is going to be the first casualty uh, but they do get a lot of damage on to both Delt and Stace they're trying to get aggressive across the flank here Romania Blur is able to gun down his, uh, his opposing heavy weapons guy but everyone else is crumbling at the moment the soldier Breeze comes in backstabs the combo from behind 
cleans basically everyone up. Chris goes down, and once more, it's uh, not looking good for Romania. Yeah, Romania choosing to go flank this time, as opposed to the other side of the map. But I mean, it started off kind of promising for them, but then it just kind of red team so, uh, did not crumble to the pressure and. Ended up winning the mid fight, although Romania trying again now from the flank. Actually changing up a bit their plans uh, compared to the previous rounds. Yeah, I think it makes sense, a smart adaptation. They really struggled making anything happen from the cliff. I don't think the snipe is quite as impactful when you're stuck on the flank areas. It's oh. just he's able to run in behind. Yeah, the, the track breeze, were actually but... coming out. And being able to pick up the Romanian medic, this is not looking great. No, that's not what Romania would have wanted. They get a couple of frags, but at the end of the day, they lose the medic, they lose any position they had on the point, just an aggressive uber through main from the Romanians. Uh, sorry, from the Czechs, and the Romanians are back in the respawn queue, back looking to regroup and re and once again re-energize for a repush. Yeah, again, uh, the Romanians kind of approaching it from the flank side, bomb coming in from Monk, but not really able to achieve all that much quite yet. I mean, they're still on the this side because of their medic flying, I believe. Uh, able to take some skits on the flank, actually, and the Czech Republic has given up the aggro position on the point, but it doesn't seem like they will be getting cap time anytime soon. Uh, looking to edge towards the point, but the Uber is ready, and Chris again is caught in no man's land. Nice little surf away from Chris, but the Scout SMH is ready to run him down. It's a complete and utter catastrophe for Romania. They get completely encircled. Great flank play through main while the aggression was coming into the flank. As I say, complete encirclement and almost a wipe there for Romania. They're back in the spawn queue. There's a forward up, hold up for checks, and they are looking completely dominant right now. I'm not exactly sure what Romania's plan was there, they went like really close and just got used on. Attempting again with the cliffside push though, maybe they can get something working with uh, the Czech team on the forward hold. Like, maybe they can catch someone getting out, but it doesn't seem like that many people will, go, will be going down. The Thomas being dead for this push though, maybe the lack of sniper picks will allow them to get something done this time. Oh, shame! Oh. Now gets a third kill, and that one was onto the medic. The bomb does come in from Breeze to clean him up, but he's already got the pick he would have wanted on to get him. Now it's a case of can they keep Chris alive? They can't keep Demos alive. And oh, the collapse is in though from the Czech side. Delt is on the point, he's just air blasting people away. He's keeping, uh, keeping it alive here just for a second here. Romania Prime is not sure whether he wants to stand on the point or not. He actually just runs forward. They have to touch it. I don't think there's the players here. Yusti runs into a buffed heavy. They can't get on the cap, and it's a it's a it's a clean round there. At the end of the day, no cap time at all. No cap coming in for Romania and Czech Republic, looking absolutely dominant on this first map. All right. Are we gonna put logs on? Yeah, we can uh, pull some sure. logs up here. I'm uh, looking at these logs, and they look yeah. Uh, I mean, in the room. <laughs> the Red uh, Jerk is actually going 19 and 2. It kind of tells a pretty big story of you know what probably caused this game to go as it did with the Red Spy not being able to be dealt with and just causing a lot of chaos behind the enemy team and getting info. Uh, it's pretty, very difficult to push when there's a spy that's always alive behind you and just like kills your team before you even start attempting to push. Uh, certainly I wasn't expecting Tomash to kind of win that sniper duel quite as handily as he did. I think Shape started to warm up towards uh, the latter end of that, that game, but there just wasn't enough time, there wasn't enough uh, space made for him for the combo. As you say, this map could play out a little bit differently. Players are going to be more familiar with it. I don't think it's going to be... Jerkus is still going to be a real nuisance to deal with, but they can probably just blob up around their ramp area a bit more. They can play more kind of cohesively as a team. And I think it's going to be more successful on this map. Uh, but anyway, we're moving on to this second map here, Pro Blunt. It's going to be Romania once more coming in in the blue. Czech Republic are going to be starting off in the red. So we're going to this mid fight. Demos going straight uh, onto the point here. 
it's going to be uh, immediately shape actually winning that sniper. But Rusty runs in, does take out Stacey. So Devman and Sniper down. Surely now uh, Romania have a bit of space on the point. They're looking to go aggressive. Check still want to fight despite those heavy losses. They feel they have enough picks to continue to the fight. There's actually a crit screen up for Chris, but he's not building it much faster than Gedu. Yeah, both teams actually went bubble. Both teams kind of opting for the same mid. Uh, I guess you don't see that this that much, but Romania actually being able to you know, take, take the mid fight for once. Maybe showing a, a bit of a good sign, although the, the, the check Uber coming out already with the trade. Oh, Romania's actually Chris, I didn't, uh, didn't even realize. But the Czech Republic will uh, be taking the point and now it's again on the Romania to do something as we've seen on the previous map. Attempting to re-push from the left side, which is a bit of an interesting way to put Now he's just spamming a bit. Yeah, he wanted to re-push him, but you saw the sniper was up ready to take him out. So I guess they decided better of it at the end of the day. I mean, they've kept the medic alive. They've kept the crit streak out here. So they can attempt to repush. I think the Chris Creek worked against them in the first mid, given the fact they won it so convincingly. Uh, having the Chris Creek worked against them, but now maybe no! Because Alf is able to go in, guns down, the medic following up on Breeze's damage. Chris, the medic goes down, Gedu has 100%, and Romania back to the drawing board. Yeah, again, I mean, there was a bit of an interesting approach with, from Romania, like going left side. Maybe they're hoping that their sniper will get some entry picks or make some space for them to push or something. It's uh, not what you usually see though. Uh, this time it appears they will be uh, it appears they will be going left side again with their sniper. I guess let's see if it goes any different now. Uh, Czech Republic <sighs> holding aggro on the point might be susceptible to some sniper shots. Oh uh, I know we talked about <laughs> Kirk is not doing as much on this map, but at the moment he's on an absolute terror. It's gonna be dueling his spy counterpart once more. It's gonna feign underneath and finally give them a little bit of respite uh, on the Romania side of the Czech Republic. Uh, racking up a nice little five advantage here. Crit streak up for Demos though. It's gonna fire some stickies across the point. Does get the foresight, but doesn't get any frags with it. And the nuke is in from Stace. He takes out Shape, takes out Nick. <laughs> He, uh, Rutterman goes down in the back lines as well. Actually, uh, Demos is able to win that uh, Demo Man duel, so despite the damage that had been done by the Czech Uber, surely now there's an opportunity for Romania to get some aggression going. Yeah, and with the, with the faster spawners, maybe they will be able to do something before the Czech team manages to gather everyone, but it looks like the Czech team demo is back already, so. This time, uh, Romania is attempting to push from Batstall the first time this round. Uh, but, I mean, kind of still waiting passive on Bats, and oh, and the crit is coming out. Getting the heavy pick, the check team not using Uber. Oh, Rutterman, though, can he clean up Gedu? He's on to him. He surely goes with the gun, but no, he gets taken out by Gedu with the Crusaders crossbow. There's a last gasp attempt at cap here by Romania, but they weren't able to get Gedu down uh, before it could happen. So they do cap it out, but now they're going to have to hold on for over two and a half minutes here if they want to take this round. Yeah, and with the Czech team having full Uber right now, it's not looking that promising for them. Uh, but at least they did manage to cap the point. Yeah, the, the, check, the check over co coming out, getting the picks, putting the cap time on the point is going to be very difficult for Romains to, to do anything about this. Yeah, just Beast Uber coming in from Stace, just flying, launching himself across the point. They were holding nice and far forward on the point, as if it was kind of an even Uber situation there, Romania, and they were punished for it. They, Absolutely devastating Demoman Uber, uh, just absolutely nuking them on the point. And there we go, it's going to be first round, Czech Republic uh, once more continuing to look the stronger team so far in this game. But they did lose the first mid, so there is a little bit of help here for Romania. Romania immediately go aggressive on the point. Mong is knocked to the low ground, Blow is across though actually, getting a lot of space on the point, but Jerkus goes in, 
Kids demos. Delta's traded out, so it's about an even trade in terms of classes, but Breeze is looking to make a difference. He picks up the Pyro Mirka, he picks up Prime. He's still in behind, he gets the health back in behind. Chris is in an awkward position, sandwiched between a soldier and a scout. The scout and spy descend down on Chris, take him out. Gedu is safe until Rutterman comes in. No, he can't get the stab cleaned up by the, the mini sentry at the end of the day. And once more, Czech Republic in control. Romania coming in with a pretty aggressive mid, but kind of just struggling to get stuff done when, once they arrive on the point. Now attempting to rebirth from Badstow, but with with a full over the set, they will probably be opting for a second here with Mon going in. Uh, not getting much done though. Have to be careful though. If the medic drops down, the enemy team could just go on them. Yeah, at the moment Mong has kind of been out of sync with the aggression from the rest of his team. And as yeah. you say, Chris dropping down. He takes damage before he even drops down. The Uber is out. It's onto a heavy S and H is flashed. The flank comes in. They drop down. He actually Gedu is able to run in. Picks up the medigun. Get actually, I think he, I think it was a crits Krieg. He thought about picking it up, but uh, knew it probably wasn't going to be that high. So decided better of it, and just goes back. Still on the medigun here for Gedu. Chris has spawned up on the crits. Shape wins the SVS, so maybe an opening finally for Romania. And I'm not exactly sure what Romania's plan was there. First, it seems like they were trying to sack, and they just dropped down and right into the enemy's hands. And Breeze coming in again from Shutter, like at, a, like at the first fight, picking up the medic pick. Seem, I mean, the Czech, the Czech team leading almost all of their players, so it seems like Romania will be able to take the point. But we're actually staying more or less equal. And they hold this. There's some nice coordinated aggression though from Romania. They finally kind of got everyone in sync and everyone shooting at the same time. But Tomash picks up Demos once more, and immediately you can see the red players flooding over, looking to take the space back. Breeze is in. He picks up Chris. Blur's got no one to support him. He's taken out. They're so much more together. They're so much more aggressive, Czech Republic. And what well, looked for about 20 seconds, like a brief. A beam of light for Romania has been quickly crushed. I think Romania just kind of slow with the rotations. They do manage to get the point, but they kind of just stay there on their bad side and just wait to die again. Uh, maybe they need some more like decisive decisions on uh, where to rotate and hold. The oh, but shape actually picking up a kill on the heavy. Uh, but yeah, the Red Uber coming out and with and the Romanian Medic going down again, they, they seem to be very good at catching the Romanian Medic with the Ubers, uh, the Czech Republic. Yeah, I, uh, I was gonna say, it's interesting to see that the uh, Romanians haven't really opted for that many sacks, even though they're usually on Uber, they said. So not, not, not really getting many openings for them to actually push. No, I think it would make sense when they're building that Chris Creek up, when they have that disadvantage to go for sacks, but at the moment, Czech Republic are just completely controlling the flow of the game. Jerk is alive once more. He's playing in this sneaky area, ready to pounce on whoever peeks out. Everyone's moving out through the shutter. There's going to be an easy frag. Jerkus onto that uh, sniper. He's cleaned up by Demos, but they're taken so low and no one can stand on the point. Czech Republic win it a clean second round. Yeah, it's a pretty convincing showing from the Czech Republic. Doesn't seem like anything that Romania is trying is clearly working out for them. I'm not really being able to get many opening picks to start pushes or anything. Uh, and staying on crits the entire time, even now. Trying to turn down, they are still on crits. Mm, Shape wins the SVS against Thomas, but this time Czech Republic are aggressive on the point, but Shape finds Gedu. But uh, I, think, I assume Jerkus goes in gets Chris. It's a uh, kind of pandemonium on the point. Everyone is going down on either side. There's a spy, Rutterman running in. Now suddenly Demos wants to get aggressive, but everyone's just so low on Romania. The aggression that they want to make happen is being rebuffed just about for now. The spawn is up for Chris, but I think Czech Republic just about will take the cap. A uh, Mon coming in from behind, but actually getting the knight. Swiftly, although, wait, did he get... Shape find Gedu once more, yeah. 
Uh, Shape doing work this round. He's continuing to pop some heads. Demos wants to stand on the point. He doesn't have too many players to support him. Finally, Mirko is going to come in to support him. So, Cap is going to go back in the Romanian favor. And it's, it's a much more even round at the moment. Tomas is going to get cleaned up. Caught alone marooned in his ramp area as well. And at the moment, there's not really too much going right for Czech Republic. They had got a little bit of gap time. They got 30 seconds out of the day but uh, you can see the aggression coming in the flank is already in crits out for Demos but he's just firing it into a pyro he doesn't get as many frags as he would have wanted flash onto the heavy is going to take out the scout there's damage down onto the the enemy heavy but at the moment check has survived they kept getting alive they have an uber ready to go pretty shortly and the uh, cat push is going to come in soon as well yeah i mean laser beams coming out from Romania earlier, but not really getting enough picks to be able to hold onto the point. Gedu going down this time though, so Ubers will kind of stay approximately equal, although it seems like the point will be going to the Czech Republic. And Romania, again, on the side of has to do something. It's on them to push. And it's kind of been for most of the game, like, the Czech team just kind of scrambling in most of these fights and managing to salvage whatever they have. Push actually coming in from the left side. The Vlosko do a lot this round, but they have been salvaging another uh, damage down onto Gedi. He's launched up, his pipes as well as coming in. He's just about going to dodge out of there. The rest of his team has to evacuate. They do keep Gedi alive. He's actually gone to the quick fix. He obviously feels he's dying so much this round that they just have to get the extra heals up. They don't even necessarily need the Uber to win this at the moment, but Stace is going to drop down and Yusti's able to run in and find Gedu alone. I uh, don't know if there's this is throwing or tilt coming out of Czech Republic, but they do not look as uh, solid as they did in the, those, the, the previous five rounds of King of the Hill. I mean, it seems like Romania has found, you know, their key to victory. Just kill Dego every time he spawns. Bringing out the aggro hold on point and with the sniper. The crits coming out actually not being quite able to catch the medic with the sticks, but will delay the Czech Republic push. Oh, yes, he's in behind. No, he can't get Gedu, so Gedu will survive for now. As you say, delaying the Czech push again, they're going to have to wait for a couple of spawns. Stace goes very low as well. This Demos gets so aggressive trying to find that Ooh. frag onto Stace. A decent rocket coming in from Reese. Seems like with uh, with demos going down, it's going to be a pretty easy retake for the Czech Republic and also Uber ad for them. Again, Romania on the back foot, trying to push into Uber ad now. They're definitely on the back foot, but this is the first time they've had a time advantage really for any significant period of time in this game on on any of the rounds. They do, they are. Uh, over 30 seconds up here. They do have the crit screen just about ready to go on Demos. There is an Uber for Gedu, should he choose to use it or not, but Demos is looking to pull the trigger. Crits comes out. Can't get too much with it. A lot of flashes coming out just to save players from those incoming crit stickies. Stace jumps up onto the bat. Somehow gets Chris. Chris will get taken out by the stickies, but they do lose Stace. Can help. Breeze. Delta as well, going quite low as well. Delta's actually caught. Can he get the frag onto Demos? Demos is burning on his right hand side. Is there going to be? No, he does survive. A lot of players going down for checks. The time is much, much more even now. Yossi is running in. He's running down Gedu. He only gets the frag onto Demos. Gedu will escape, but surely an opportunity now for Romania to push back onto the point. Yeah, I believe uh, Chris actually got spawn camp one time after he died. So got a pretty sizable ad come for uh, the Czech Republic now. Uh, although. Romania taking the point, but they will have to hold this against the Czech Uber, which will be coming out in a couple seconds, presumably. Kind of brave for them to hold aggro on the point with the Uber this out, which they probably know. Yeah, they are backing own. up now. They are aware of the Ubers ready to come out for Gedu. It's going to be flashed across the point onto SNH and Stace and Demos can't escape. SLH cleans up shape and Mirko as well. He's running in for Chris. He wants that medic frag blow. Is able to gun him down. And Chris survives on a sliver of health. But there's not too many other players surviving on Romania. But uh, one thing that is up for them still is the cap. 
The cup only just comes in for Czech Republic. They're looking to go in with the crit streak, with the Bootis, with the oh, laser beams, but no Kahalb is hiding in the corner. Mirka's stabbed on the point as well. They've got a little bit too ahead of themselves. Mong is cleaned up by Breeze. And suddenly Czech Republic, it's falling all in their favor once more. Yeah, um, Romania actually having pretty slow spawns as well, so... I mean, they will barely be able to touch the point, if at all, here. The attempt coming in from Bats, Mong going in with the bomb, getting denied. Then Delt airblasting everyone off the point. Romania being able to get some cap time, but uh, not quite enough to really be able to cause anything. And again, another 3 0 for the Czech Republic. Very convincing showing from them this game. Yeah, definitely a couple of minutes of uh, uncertainty and madness towards uh, the start of that, that final round that we saw. But I think ap apart from that, apart from those few moments where Gedu looked a bit vulnerable, the the Czech Republic side looked very strong. They were very together. They they had a plan on both maps. They were organized. Uh, they kept, obviously were following whoever was main calling. They were following it to a T and... Yeah, they just looked a cut above Romania. I was hoping for a closer game, sadly, tonight, but uh, you can see there's a clear difference between the, the level of team play between these two teams. Yeah, it's a little bit more even this time on the logs. You can see Demos and Blur. Uh, those, I mean, those, those are always going to be two key players for Romania doing it a little bit better. Uh, but the flank, actually, from Czech Republic... Uh, impressive SNH and Breeze, both uh, very capable in sixes, but I don't think either have played a ton of Highlander, uh, but doing work and once more Jerkers go in uh, 25 frags yep. to five deaths, top fragging and uh, nearly bottom deathing on the server. But unlike on Prut, this time Tomas actually not being able to get away with that much. I mean, maybe the Czech Republic didn't even leave that many kills for him with how they played. Uh, kind of interesting since Prut is generally considered a bit of a war sniper map. Uh, but yeah, J Jerkas with like almost like very low deaths just causes a very big problem for your backline to deal with and always getting those picks in the fights making it very difficult to push. Uh, very impressive showing from the Czech flank, I would say. Uh, I don't really know any of these players as like and their players haven't seen them that much, but playing pretty well against some experienced players on the Romanian team. So, uh, it's going to be down to our production guys then, I guess, exactly how many hours they're going to be able to put in. But we will definitely be having games for you uh, this weekend. So make sure you're following the channel here and make sure you're in the Discord to find exactly when those games are going to be. Have you got any final thoughts from this game or any shout-outs here, Pajaka? Uh, don't have that many final thoughts. I mean, shout-out for uh, my boy Dave to getting me uh, getting me to cast. It was a fun experience. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's about it for my shout-outs. All right. Yeah, it was uh, very fun to cast <laughs> you. The first Short and time. sweet. Yeah, it's uh, good stuff. Always good to have, you know, high, high experience, high caliber players to bring that insight. Uh, and yeah, if anyone else is looking to get involved in either casting or production, you know, if you have, if you have a real affinity for TF2, think you can get involved. Uh, I guess message me over Discord, and yeah, we'd be looking to get some more talent involved for Crits Cast and TFTV are looking for more people as well. I believe at the same time. So anyone. Looking to get involved in UTF2, yes, message me or Dum Tum. But aside from that, it's going to be a good night from me, Dave. Hey. I've been joined by Pijaka tonight with a his, uh, very good first cast. And uh, J Max was the one giving you all the production. Good night. Hey, an another another shout out before we leave. Uh, okay. Make sure to add up to Highlander Pugs. <laughs> and yeah, good night from my side as well. See you in the Pugs, guys. Good night.